Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the 2 kg cola is given a downward velocity over 4 meters per second when it is at air. If the spring has an stretched length of 1 meter and a stiffness of uh, k is equal to 30 newtons per meter, determine the velocity of the cola at s equal to 1 meter. So we are assuming that this is in the vertical plane assuming that it is in the vertical plane and since only the conservative forces are acting on this particular collar we have the gravitational force and the spring force we can use conservation of our mechanical energy so let's call this point point one and to point two like that so this collar is moving from point one to point two so we can say kinetic energy at point one plus potential energy at point 1 is equal to kinetic energy at point 2 plus potential energy at point 2. Okay, so let's write down the equation. So T here is just equal to half mv squared. And then we have V, which is in two parts, gravitational as well as elastic. Okay, there we go. So, um, let's call the first one. Of course, we've been told this, the original length and stretch length of the spring is one. Then we have LB, LAB itself, which is just equal to two. Okay. And then we have LBC, which is just going to be equal to square root of 2 squared plus S1 squared. Therefore, LBC is just going to be equal to square root of 5. Okay. Right. So, let's write down everything in the formula. So, we'll have half. Okay. So this is our datum here. This is our datum. Um, that's our datum. Okay, so we have half m uh, v1 squared. Okay, plus uh, half plus w h1 plus half ks1 square okay and this is equal to half mv2 squared minus that term there as w h2 and then plus half ks2 square then our S1 here is just going to be equal to L naught minus uh, LAB, L final. Okay. So generally our S is just going to be equal to L final minus L naught, where our L finals are just equal to L final one is equal to LB. And L final 2 is equal to LBC. Okay, so this we have half times the mass, which is a 2. And V1 there is a 4. So this is 4 squared plus a W, which is uh, this part here is 0. 0 because H1 is just equal to 0. Okay, then we have half K. The K is 30 and S here, L final, this LAB, LAB and LAB is a 2 minus 1 squared. Then this is equal to half by 2 by V2 squared minus W, which is just a 2 by 9.81 by H2 and H2 is S, which is just equal to 1. 
plus half by 30 by L final, which is just root of 5, LBC, right, minus L final, like so. So then let's find uh, B2, like so. So this just becomes 0. 0.5 by 2 by 4 squared plus 0. 0.5 by 30 by 1 whole squared plus 2 by 9.81 9 by 1 then minus 0. 0.5 by 30 by square root of 5 minus 1 squared then I mean minus one in bracket and square there we go then square root of that so we get a five point two six meters per second again we are assuming this is in the vertical plane okay assuming that the system is in the vertical plane. Okay, I think this is about it. We have found the value of velocity uh, at uh, point two one with designated point two and i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast